Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to start a series that I'm calling Tools and Tricks, and, or Tips and Tricks. First one, down here in the lower right hand corner we know that this is adding a workbook, dashboard, and story, but these will always add those items at the end of your series, at the end of your tabs. If you want something in the middle here, you need to come up here to this icon where you can add a new worksheet, dashboard, or story. So let's add a new dashboard. And there we go. Now what I want to do is I'm going to bring two items over. That was tip number one. Second tip, I'm going to bring over a tree map and we're going to bring over the Pareto. Now you'll notice that the filter, the quick filter, shows up as well. That's because when you come to the Pareto, it already has that filter showing. Let's hide this card. And let's get rid of this. And now when you bring over the Pareto, that quick filter is gone. That's tip number two. All right, so now let's come up under Dashboard Actions. We're going to create a filter. And we want to filter on the tree map. That's this chart here. We want to just filter the Pareto, show all values, and select. So it'll behave as we expect. And we're going to just select, and it filters. Perfect. Here's the tip, is when you bring in a new um, chart, it automatically inherits the action. So if you come here, we'll look at this. That timeline by segment is automatically filtered. Usually you want that, but not always. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, now the next tool tip. Or not the next tool tip. It's about tool tips. We're going to go to the Pareto chart. And you can see that we've got customer name and sales. Let's bring in country. No, let's bring in state to tool tip. And as you go through, it automatically added country and state. So let's get rid of that. Um, and let's go in there and let's modify this a little bit. I don't need to know the customer name. I'll just, when I see the customer name, I'll know that that's the customer. Okay, so that looks better. Now, when I bring in, we're going to just bring in segment this time. The segment doesn't show up. The tooltip will auto-update until you go in and manually make some change to the tooltip. Now, to add the segment, you have to come in here and you have to manually add the segment. That could take you... That took me a while to figure that out. That was huge, why sometimes it would be included and sometimes it wouldn't. So staying here, you'll see that the dollars for sales on the tooltip is in thousands and pennies. We want to get rid of the penny, so we're going to come under here under Format, come under Pane. This is not a tooltip. This is, you should already know this, or this is not a tip. Okay, so now we've got the pennies. So let's say we come over to sales and we say, you know what, I want the default properties to be all in thousands. So we're going to make these all in thousands. The axis changed, but the tooltip didn't. What's going on? Well, the default property only works if you haven't already set the the format in the in the on the worksheet. How do you get around that? Come under default under number, change that back to automatic. You'll see that it's do, you know dollars and thousands. You can come in here, and if you wanted, where is it? And you can go back and you can change it to decimals or one decimal, no thousands. The other th one last thing I'm going to show you that you already know, it's a little quirk that kind of bothers me. 
let's say we want to create a calculated field. We're just going to call this average sales. I know, why would you do it? It's, I mean, there's already a function that does that, but here's my point. I haven't hit tab, I just hit, I just kept typing. And so now it's giving me with an error. Reference to undefined field sales. Well, I've got sales over here. This, well, you can see right there, perhaps you meant sales with a capital S. Drives me crazy, but this tableau is very case sensitive. That can work to your advantage sometimes. Maybe you'll have sales all caps will mean something different than sales lowercase, and you can show that in different places, different ways on your dashboard. So there you go. A couple of quick tools and tips, or actually a couple of tips and tricks. I'll probably say tools and tricks. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit notification, and tell your friends about us.